Our Thursday morning checking in at 29 degrees in Birmingham. Beautiful sunrise view though. Taking a look off to the east. 23 right now in Gadsden, 28 in Anniston, 29 degrees. First thing this morning in Tuscaloosa, light winds, clear skies, allowing a lot of frost to form first thing this morning. We'll see temperatures only warm into the mid to upper 40s this afternoon. Lots of sunshine in that forecast, but overall a pretty chilly north breeze throughout the day. These Arctic blasts continue to come in from the north one after another. So it's reinforcing that cold air, which means we're not expecting a warm up at least anytime soon through the end of the week into the weekend and first part of next week. That colder air continues to filter in from the north. Eventually next week winds turn around to out of the south Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as we head toward Thanksgiving Day. I do expect much milder temperatures. In fact, we could be looking at highs back into the 60s and 70s by the time we reach Thanksgiving with more moisture, with more of a south wind, increasing rain chances, unfortunately, just in time for the holiday on Thursday. Through the weekend, we continue with that north wind. Weak disturbance moves by to our south, bring maybe a few clouds this weekend. No rain, though, in the forecast Saturday or Sunday. We stay dry into the start of next week. Eventually, though, that system will head our way. And if we get enough moisture, depending on the exact track of it, we could be talking about rain chances increasing back in our forecast sometime in the Wednesday, Thanksgiving Day or Friday time frame. Of course, we'll iron out those details as we get closer to the end of next week. In the meantime, we continue to talk about the cold 46 today. Lots of sunshine lows in the 20s right through Monday morning. We'll begin a modest warm up Monday afternoon with highs back into the 50s. Lots of sunshine turning warmer, increasing clouds for the middle of next week. Wednesday highs back into the upper 60s. Rick. Thank